Welcome to the Michael Mendes Show. I mean, I haven't been here in this studio for months since oh, this pandemic thing came by, and I was, I, I, I was feeling very nostalgic, you know, when I came in today uh, with you guys when we saw outside in the in the in the parking lot, and we say, wow, this is this is this is like a, like a dream come true. We thought we would we would never be back here again, you know. Yeah. After all this time, and and everything remains the same. Beautiful. And it's I know it's been months, but it felt like years. It f yeah, it, 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 years it, since we've it, been it, here. It, it felt like a like, like a very very long time, and I'm very happy today. Not not only to be back, but being here with you, Jadir Escobar, which uh, had this uh, have had the show for uh, uh, so so many times, so many months that I haven't practiced my English. I'm afraid that right because that, that you're, you've English been in quarantine. Fans, that my English fans are going to get mad at me now. <laughs> you've been uh, in strict. I, I quarantine. sound like I like it just came uh, out of out of uh, Cuba or something. No, what's the no. expression? Fresh off the boat. Fr yeah, yeah, fresh <laughs> off the boat. Yeah, like like, like Tony Montana. But yeah. I'm a good guy. Right, right. right. But, but but the thing is, um, I mean, you you uh, have this show Moderna for for mm -hmm. three years, and I'm happy to be the the producer of the show. Yes. We haven't been doing the, the the same stuff. I mean, I've been doing my shows from home. Can you believe that? Yeah, I believe uh, it. That's what I've been doing too. Music. <laughs> I, I've been interviewing uh, artists like 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 uh, by messenger. And you, but you have your thing with Zoom, and, and you have the video cameras and everything. Mm -hmm. And we we've had to get acquainted with that. Uh, yeah, I I feel that I was very much prepared for this pandemic because. Right. Because you, you were doing it before. Um, yeah, I mean, come yeah, on, so I was homeschooled. You know, yeah, I, yeah. I, I already know yeah. how to do basically 98% of all human activities from home. So, like, I, I got this, you know, I can do this. And and, and, and the work was, um, was even easier because a few months before the pandemic, we were already doing, we, were, we started building a studio. So it was much easier for us to do the transition. Yeah, because of your political polit political campaign. You yeah, know, yeah. You, so because we you thought went there from uh, like from Monday to Friday, you had a yeah, yeah. We we started sure. doing live streams on YouTube, like two or three months before mm -hmm. the pandemic struck because we were in the middle of the campaign. You know, running for Congress. Right. Um, today is election day, by the way. Uh, I voted for Danielle Levinkava. I hope she wins. I haven't we're checked. We're gonna come back to you from yeah, there. You'll see. We'll get to that. But yeah, um, with the vengeance. Yes, definitely. I mean, you know, in two years, there's a lot we can do. That's right. But and of course, I learned so much. Um, but we were doing um, these live streams on YouTube uh, to help to like expand um, the campaign, and then with with the quarantine, the pandemic comes and. Well, and then it's it's funny because it was strange how then everybody was doing what we were doing. Right. Yeah. And then... Copycats. And, and then it's like, it's so sad when you see, see people struggling with the audio malfunctions and bad, lousy cameras and cats. Like, there was a... There was, did you see that meeting where they had these high-ranking uh, politicians from the United Kingdom and then this cat walks all over the camera? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it, it's like everybody... Do you remember that BBC um, guy who was talking and then... Uh, a couple of years ago, and then his his wife and his little girl came into the room. Everybody, everybody is that everybody. guy now. Yeah, everybody, uh, and everybody's doing it. Yes, the, the, the talk shows from NBC and CBS, the late night shows. Jimmy Fallon is doing yeah. the show from his apartment, and you can see his little girls playing in the living room. It's so cute. Or, or, it's like it, everything is less pompous now, yes. and because of Corona. Like every, everybody's been forced to. Um, open up the intimacy of their homes. Right, right. And for one thing, we've been able to see that, oh, clearly you have it better off than us because some people are being quarantined in terrible living conditions where they've got like 16 people under the same roof. Right. And then if some, some multimillionaire, he's got a whole estate. So he's li he's quarantined in, in some woods. Right. So like, yeah, I don't want to get political about it, but, <laughs> yeah, but not everybody is dealing with this in the same way. Like it has not, because at first we were saying, oh, coronavirus is the great equalizer. No, it isn't. No, it has only made our uh, social economic uh, positions mm -hmm. even more s stark in contrast with each other. Right. Like the divide is even greater now yes. because if you have the money, you don't have to even do go grocery shopping. You know, like your friend, how she's going to other to people's homes to do their hair. But if you're poor, you have to uh, go. You have to go to the market. To, you, you have, have to, to go, go to work. Yeah, it, now that you mentioned there are people that have uh, like the EVT food stamps, mm -hmm. uh, they're not allowed to, to buy, uh, to go publish a Winn-Dixie and, 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 and take the, the, the shopping home. I mean, if you have a credit card. What you, do you mean? You can do. 
I, you I, mean that they I, can't I, order? No, they can't no, order. no. I have a friend, and she's in she's in food stamps. And she told me, Mike, I can't uh, order sad. Publix to bring my food. I have to go there because they don't take the credit card. They don't take. The, There's a hierarchy. They, they, they don't take the EBT food stamp. They take right. the Visa, Mastercard, but but not me. I said, you kidding me? I had no idea. So that's right there. That's prejudice because if, if people uh, they want to go to the market because they're afraid that they might get sick. Right. But if you're poor and you have food stamps, then you're going to have to go anyways. Yeah. But me, me, I go anyways. But There's I, I, 60 I, I, million yeah. people now without yeah. health care. I know. Because so many I, people lost their, lost their jobs. Right, right, right. So, so Which is so, insane so, that we, so, we have, you know, so your health care is tied to your job. The balance is, is, is unfair. I mean, they, they, they should let everybody, if they want to just have the, the, the food delivered, the, the shopping from, from the market delivered to the A house. lot of things could have been done easier. They, 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 they should allow them done to better. do that. Done better. Yeah. Like, I really think that from the beginning, if the government had said, you know what, we're going to enforce strict quarantine, everybody just stay home, yeah. we would have been over by this. Like, we we did the messed up, uh, we took Spain, the wrong steps, they, they, they we, ruined, Italy, Italy. we yeah. ruined the economy, Yeah. but we still got the virus. Yes. So what is that? That's sloppy. Totally sloppy. You know, just make everybody stay at home, yeah. give everybody a, a, a universal basic income. Yeah. Don't worry, you're not going to spoil them. Mm -hmm. You know, at, when it's all over, you can take it away if you right. want, if you right. want to be that jerk. But okay. Right. <laughs> but right. but a, a, lot, a lot of things no, can be done uh, in the, the, the United States uh, definitely has not been a good example. Uh, in, in, if you compare with other countries, even Puerto Rico, which is a commonwealth. Puerto Rico is a commonwealth in the right. United States. They, they did it better, mm -hmm. statistically. I mean, from day one, the governor said anybody... That's uh, at 8 p.m., 8.30 p.m. It's not in their home. They're even going to get a, a, a big ticket or they're going to go to jail. That's it. You cannot be at night at, 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 uh, in the streets unless you're a, a, a policeman or a doctor. That's it. Nobody. Right. Nobody. And they were very strict until now, uh, until this day. If, if you go to a Walgreens in, in Puerto Rico, before you enter, they, they put your thermometer. Okay? Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They do a lot of things that they don't do here in the States. Mm -hmm. And it's it's uh, it's crazy. Like like even in the same state in Florida, like like in Miami, if you go to a restaurant, you have to sit outside, a sidewalk like, like in a sidewalk cafe. You cannot go inside the restaurant unless you go to the bathroom. But if you go to Broward, mm -hmm. then you can go inside the restaurant. Oh, so, look at that see, privilege! Like, like I I live in North Miami Beach. I take my right. car, and in eight minutes I'm in Broward. Mm -hmm. So if I go to Broward and I go to a restaurant, they let me inside the restaurant. Now, if I stay in Miami Beach and I go to a restaurant, they don't let me inside the restaurant. It's right. ridiculous. Like, it depends on the mayor. depends on... on yeah, on, that's on, chaotic. It makes no sense. Because then, if because, it, make, yeah, then it makes no sense no. If, you, if you do the right thing because continuously you're going to have visitors that are bringing in the coronavirus. Right. This, this, this needs to Does, be it, a collective it, it, it effort. It doesn't make any sense. We need to work on this together. Right, right. Like they say, Dade and Broward. The Dade and Broward are our neighbors. Anybody is in Broward can go to a restaurant in Miami. Anybody in Miami can go to a restaurant in Broward. So mm -hmm. it's the same thing. So, so if, if you're contagious in Miami, you're going to take that, that, that same danger. You're going to take it to yeah, Broward. Yeah, of course. You know? so, so there's a lot of things that are just plain stupid, the way I see it. And the fact that everybody's now on the Internet um, has only made the cancel culture and the intolerance a little bit worse mm. because it's like all of the problems that we had before are only heightened now. Yeah. And there is, it's, it's, it's a really scary time when you have like friends that are saying, oh, questioning mm -hmm. if the United States has a future. And I don't like the conspiracy theories, for instance, that, that talk about the deep state, how it's got problems, because I find that when you, when you start sharing these ideas and you're letting people doubt whether there is such a thing as the deep state, um, it kind of just like puts us all in a heightened state of paranoia. Mm -hmm. And then, because if you can't prove this, mm -hmm. then can we just like forget about it? Right. You know, like if you don't have any evidence of this, don't tell me that so-and-so told you and that uh, WikiLeaks this and there's this other theory and then there's a, oh, I read this on an online internet forum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I remember the early days of the internet. Um, there are many crazy theories there. There are many crazy websites, and you could post anything. Right. I so, remember. like, it's like people are forgetting that it is still that wild west of ideas. Like, it, people shouldn't think that, oh, there's somebody who's in control of this. Don't worry. Um, this is verified. 
it, it, anybody can if you have a blog and you just start making up stuff what's sad is that then people then share it and then everybody is stuck at home they're not getting enough sunlight so it's like we have like the breeding grounds for the worst um emotional state mm -hmm. imaginable just ahead of an election yeah like i worry like are people like really in their full mind like controlled mind yeah, mindset right now yeah. to to be able to function properly like good working citizens because you have on one side you have people thinking that the coronavirus is all fake and that this is all just some plot of the of the democrats and but beware of the vaccine because it's got, it's like a mind so control. Stupid because the whole world doesn't have anything to do with the with the Demo Democrat Party of the United States, the Republican Party. It's a global issue. Right. It's a pandemic. Yeah. And then on the other side, you have people saying basically that if you don't get Donald Trump out of power, then the white supremacists are going to rule America, and that's not true. <laughs> I mean, obviously we have to fight white supremacists, right. but but fascism is not here. No. And it's not going to come anytime soon. No. It, it, it's like obviously the, we should fight it yeah we should fight anybody that's trying to destroy uh, american institution american democracy and all that yeah um everybody's we trying need to, to scare fight bigotry scare the people that don't think like you they write blogs to scare the other people yes you know yes. And, and people are, are so vulnerable and scared people do not make rational decisions no and, and sadly there's a lot of uh, a, 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 a lot a lot of people that are that are vulnerable to this, especially in, in in times like this. That it's sad. There's a pandemic. There's people dying. Yeah. And, and that weakens even the the, the yeah, thought. Yeah, we already doing. know people yeah. that have died during this pandemic. Right. People that have gotten sick, um, of many diverse political uh, opinions. Um, because it's sad how people have tried to politicize it, where they're saying, oh, the Democrats, uh, they're going to get sick because they're going to Black Lives Matter protests. And then the, 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 the Democrats then say, oh, Republicans are all going to get sick because they're, they're yeah. believing Trump and they're not wearing masks. And they're not wearing masks. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's so terrible how because of this, uh, the pandemic came at a p time of severe political division. It, 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 it didn't bring us together. Yeah, no. It has only divided no. us even more. No. And I'm not gonna make. I'm not gonna even mention that. Well, yes, we do have to keep social distancing, but we should be even closer than ever now. Yeah, that's true. Physically, we need to keep watch our distance. We get that. Yeah. But. But we have to worry more about each other as human yes, beings. Yes. Exactly. Know, uh, exactly. Uh, now more than ever. I mean, uh, this is where the love part has to come. The love for humanity. The the, the love for your, uh, for for people that maybe you don't even know and. Uh, um, you read about it like like you might have uh, somebody on Facebook that follows you. You don't, you don't even know who, who that is, and they, all of a sudden they say, "My mom just died because of the coronavirus." Yeah. And you feel it like you really know the person, even even if you don't know the person. You know, mm -hmm. um, it, it, it brings us together. Tragedy brings us together. But uh, politics will, will always be politics, and politics uh, always try to. Uh, um, how do you say this in English? Aprovecharse de la situación. Take advantage it? of Take advantage yeah. of the situation. Yes. Uh, for political uh, uh, purposes, you know? Yes. Uh, and that's the way. But talking about about this, because we're talking about the pandemic and we're, we're talking about the... Yeah, because we, we, we spent months without coming here. Right. Yeah, it's and been I, years. I, and about this chaos, but I want to take <laughs> some, some minutes to talk about the film. Right. The Illustrator that just uh, came out in Amazon. About, yeah, uh, three it's weeks available ago. for for uh, uh, streaming th on Amazon. First, it was the book, The Illustrator, which mm -hmm. I had the pleasure of interviewing you uh, last year or something, uh, about a year ago. About a decade ago, about I think. Yeah, <laughs> I'm that, kidding, I'm kidding. Yes, it was about a, a year a ago. A decade ago, when I was yeah. young. <laughs> yeah. And and then the movie, which I have seen three times and a half, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's a type of, of a movie that when you see it more than once, you understand it better. Okay. Because the way it was directed, brilliantly, by, by, by your brother... Uh, it, it sends messages of the uh, the main character of the movie was Rachel. The, the Rachel, the, I, I've been Rachel for a decade, the, so the <laughs> character that you did. I the, definitely the, identify the, as a the, Rachel. The film took ten years to make. Yes, it did. Which is something that I've never heard of, um, and uh, it, it, it's it's fantastic because in, in some times of the um, of the story, there's a change of weather, and uh, your brother. Uh, you know, when uh, all those times that in Florida a, a hurricane would come, he would film the well, yeah, the, when, the palm when, trees, when you have a limited budget and everything. Yes, and then he incorporated that in the in the in the in the, in the script of the movie when, when, when it came to, to place. You know, right? So it, it, it's it's a, a 
a craft that, that he has mastered all these years in which this movie with with a low, a low budget because it doesn't have the budget of a Hollywood movie of course uh, is an independent movie and uh, the actors I would say 98% of them are, are really all members of your family your, I, your mother a lot, a lot of them brothers, were and that's why we have to I, even I, I, recycle I, people and I, they I, did I, multiple I, roles at I, the same I, time I, right like your father which did which, which different roles yes he, he even tries to he has a character and uh, then he plays another character that, that tries to uh to, um, uh, you know, threaten his main character with, with this Mr. Mr. Rivero. Yes. He, there's a scene that he goes to the yeah, house. Yeah, basically he's fighting himself. And, and he hits the guy in the head yeah. and, and everything. And, and, and it's the same actor. The same actor. Yes, yes. He beat, he beat himself up. <laughs> yeah. And your, uh, your, uh, your brother, Levy, also did um, a very convincing, and he was younger. Because oh, yes, he, was, he, was days, he doesn't he look. He was chubbier, he too. He doesn't look. He was chubbier. Yeah. <laughs> like, like when he did the movie, and, and, he, and he does this character. The, yeah, the, I like the, to think that in 10 years, I didn't really change physically. <laughs> no, no, yeah, no, no, you, you really haven't changed physically. Yeah. But, 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 but your brother, he, he plays a character that, that there's a scene that he has to take, a, a, you know, a, a rifle, and he starts shooting people, and mm -hmm. he, he does it, like, so bravely, so convincing, and he's so different. Well, the, the way he is in yeah in, it's in, not in, him in, he's in, not like living. that he's a peaceful guy he never oh, yes. raises very shy. He never raises his yes. voice but he, he he did a um the way he acted mm -hmm. if you don't know him you yeah say, you, you he, might you might you say, this is think an he's different this is an aggressive dude you know yeah no. but but so, but none of you really have had the the the, the training yeah nobody nobody in my home and, st had, had studied acting right and, and, and we and, improvised on right. the spot and and you let me tell you uh, you you're, you're a great actress because you have never studied uh, Stanislavski or anything like that yeah no methods uh, no nothing I've done it I mean I studied in Puerto Rico the, the I mean you've done acting right I've done acting, yeah, yeah yeah but the thing is um, there's a scene in the movie and that uh, your mother plays a character which is Rosa mm -hmm. and uh, I mean I'm going to give away a little part of the movie. Uh, almost at the end of the movie, she gets murdered. Yes. And they shoot her, and she dies. She's, she's there all covered with blood, you know, yes. on, the, on the floor. And then you come running, and, and in that instant, a, a tear comes out of your uh, of your eye. You start crying. Mm -hmm. and, and I said to myself, is he, is he really crying? I mean, I mean, you really felt that. I mean, you, of course. I mean, I, mean, I, mean I, I imagine that you visualized that it was your mother, and they just killed her. And you started crying right there, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I. That was um, all real. We did not use fake tears, and yeah. as as w as we were talking off camera and in the Spanish version of this interview, yeah. <laughs> we um, we ended up like developing. It was like the illustrator was like our training course. It was like our school, school. and hands on, hands on training. Hands on training, exactly. Mm. And so throughout the years, my brothers they developed. They were able to like really perfect their skills. Mm -hmm. It was definitely a whole course for all of them on, and on different things like... Directing, from, acting. Yeah, everything. from modeling, CGI, from editing, from cutting through uh, and, audios. And let me ask the music, because Aaron composed the music, all the music oh, by himself. Oh, beautiful music. And, the, 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 excuse there's me. A, the, there's a tool named Rachel, which I love with the piano. Yes, nice, yeah. Aaron, nice. Aaron um, did all of that. And all, I just all, used all common music, sense. He composed all the music scores. All of it. All of it was... Uh, it's what I'm saying. Like, like we're we're ready. We were totally ready for this pandemic. Like, we can even entertain ourselves, right? We can even do our music. But, but, but the, the script was it the same script all along, or you, or, or you well, kept changing the script throughout the years while you were filming. The maybe? script, but okay. So to finish, like with the acting, um, we did. I did use. Um, Without knowing it, because I didn't know about the Stalinaski method, but I just ended up using it on my own because I just used logic. I thought, mm -hmm. well, I need to, the movie deserves, uh, I give it my best. Right. So I'm just going to like really get into character and um, this is all fake. So I'm just going to use my own memories. I'm just going to dig back into right. my subconscious. Right. I'm going to try to remember awful things right. that can bring tears to my eyes. And that's what right. I did. Um, and that's why, to tell you the truth, yeah. I mean, I love acting. I realized that I absolutely love it. It's a rare privilege that you can I th I think live you're another a, you're, life. You're a natural. I love actor. it. I love it. I would absolutely. Be um, I would love to participate in and do and, and, and do more acting because it's a way for you to experience things. It's like a way to live another uh, life. Because some people study to do something, you know, to to be an actor, an actress, or be a composer, a musician. But if you're not born with it, 
you cannot handle it. You need to listen to your natural calling, yes. Like you can study music, but you're not necessarily you're going to be a composer. If you're going to be a composer, that's something that comes with you when they made you the first day you were born. <laughs> you I, cannot, I believe you so, too. Study Some to things you have to be born with. It. And, 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 and you have to tell them, I, I think you were born an actress. Thank you. Because if I didn't know you and I see the film, I, uh, I come to the conclusion that it's somebody that has studied the craft. <laughs> right. You, know? uh, perf- uh, you have perfection it in a way. So, so, um, and with regards to the script, Aaron and I wrote it halfway through because at first we just started filming without a script. You kept changing ideas, when and you then, were filming the- like around midway through, we realized mm. that it was getting a bit chaotic and it, it was no longer going to be a, t- uh, a short film. We wanted to make a motion picture, we wanted to make an actual f- a feature length film, and so that's when we sat down and actually wrote the script. And throughout the years, when Aaron kept looking back at previous scenes, since he was better and more professional, right. then we did, we did, we um, we went back and we filmed it. And I thought, well, it's been three or four years since. I hope I kind of look the same, but yeah, but, you do but look we the same. we did redo scenes a lot of times. But you do look the same. So I think so. Yeah. Me because because your brother has changed, uh, Levy. Uh, Wasn't that like typical he, boys? He, Don't he, boys he, like you know undergo yeah, dramatic it's, it's changes? Like a, a, appearance. Yes. But Josh uh, looks the same. He, he There's a part that he does a musician. And, and he, he, because that one was done like two years ago. Oh, I get that it. That one's m- more recent. It. I yeah. get it. I get it. But you... Heck, uh, I was, already, I was in, in, in the campaign. I was running for Congress. And then Aaron says, look, um, there's a scene I need. Could you could you do this? I'm like, okay, let's get into the character again. Right. You know? <laughs> and, and you still look the same. The only thing that I've done in, in the, Rachel has black hair. All the film just black hair. That's well, it. that all of that depends on color correcting because Aaron mm-hmm. is an expert colorist, mm-hmm. and he wanted to give it a very vintage feel, and mm-hmm. so he heightened, of course, the contrast. Mm-hmm. And um, it was a great opportunity, and I think that it's it's a shame that when it was ready for release after waiting almost a decade, you know, and it was going to be shown the in theaters, theaters were closed. in New York. And, yeah, and, we, and were, we, 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 we were we were in fabulous pleasure, and the pandemic came and. Yeah, and but now it's in Amazon, and yeah. I tell everybody they should. Everybody's streaming they now, sh- so wh- they should buy this film. It's better than any movie that I've seen in Netflix in the past uh, four months. Mm. Uh, the The music is excellent. The directing is uh, the effects, special effects. My God, I mean, done with a with a, a small budget for independent film, it can compete with uh, Hollywood movies that uh, spend thousands and thousands of yeah. dollars in in special effects. Um, it, it it's um, it has to do with a with a you know, with a future in Miami that uh, there's a, a chaos a revolution Miami is not anymore part of the United States there's a guy that, uh, that that's the uh, the president or the major that that he's, uh, yeah the the, he, the he, negative he, main character he, he, is he, constantly he, deluding uh, Rachel right. The, and he's and constantly I, lying I, to I, her. I, I, not to give no, not to give the story away. Uh, the the father of Rachel was uh, uh, against the political beliefs of this person, and he dies. Yes. And then this person make, makes it his life purpose to take his daughter and make and him work for him, and like in a, her, in, yes. in a sort of benches against the memory of his father. Yeah. And that affects emotionally the uh, the character. What in, in all the film she suffers. She she gets paranoid. And uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anymore. Oh, you have to you have to buy the movie. You have to see the movie uh, because the character has um, say metamorphosis. How do you say that in English? Uh, well, she undergoes, she undergoes a, a, a very deep uh, change in change her character. In her she, character, and it's what we we're discussing. That what I really like about Rachel's journey is that it's not just an adventure. Um, where it's also like a journey for herself where she realizes that she needs to be proactive. She needs to stop being just somebody else's response and just trying to barely exist and survive in the world. She needs to be uh, the one in control of her own destiny. And so ultimately, Rachel realizes that it's not enough to keep a low profile, bow your head, and just do what, what everybody else expects of you in exchange for a bit of good. Because there's like no money no. at the end of the world. This is set in a dystopian Miami of the future where many people have left because there's a pandemic. Mm-hmm. And this just guy survive. controls her life by always and she does giving it, her everything false everything to survive, hope. to survive. She yeah, does everything but he's, to survive. He's always like the vaccine he gives her turns out to be just water. Yeah, and I like your interpretation. That then, when my interpretation was, was that the, the, the vaccine was making her crazy. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is sort of it's a nice conspiracy theory against the vaccine. Yeah. But it, it turns out to be water, and he never gives her her contract is never ending, never finishes, and he never get get gives her the the permit to leave Florida because right. most people have already escaped. And so it comes to at the end, she realizes that enough is enough, and she's gonna fight for her freedom. And mm. so it, that's I like her her decision to eventually be proactive and. And and just become a free person. Let's not give away the end of the movie. The end, yeah. of, the end of the movie is something that you don't suspect, and it takes. There's an element of surprise at the end of the movie, yeah. and uh, and that's what makes it great. The illustrator is an Amazon. It has a foreign f film aspect to it, don't you think? Yeah, doesn't it feel foreign? An European. European, an European yes, movie. Yeah. Uh, I see like the kind of movie that can get nominated to the Cannes Film Festival. To, to me, it, it's an artistic movie. Uh, and, it, and it's a movie that, that after several years pass, is still going to remain as uh, as a work of art from the point Let's of hope so. Let's, let's aim for becoming a cult classic. Of, of, of the director, yeah. The, the, yeah. the, the director. I, lo I love the directing. But um, I've seen it three times myself. And I'm going to see it again. Because I'm oh. sure every time I see it, I, 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 I get a different... You look at it differently, yeah. In, 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 a, in, in a different way. But Jadira, I thank you for being here. Thank and, you for inviting uh, me. It's great to I, be uh, back. I hope that the coronavirus next year, let's say by the year 2021, they put it in theaters in New York. I would personally would love to fly you over and, and, yes. and see the movie. Yeah, I would I would definitely like to become a, a cult classic <laughs> along the ranks of like The Labyrinth from Jim Hansen or, or other films like that because we uh, we did work at it as a family. It was a nice, uh, mm -hmm. let's say it's um, it's the, it's a professional family film, let's say, yes. home video. And um, I think yes. it was ahead of its time because it did yes, predict it, many things. I mean, yes. now we are... We have, a, we have a pandemic, we have political divisions and... Um, we have a rise in authoritarianism around the world. So yeah. Yes. So the illustrator, okay, Amazon. Thank you for being here tonight. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. And I hope that someday we'd make uh, the illustrator part two. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Thank you.